Hey guys, welcome back to another FSD video. Here we are on the interesting light here. Not too complex and FSD handles it perfectly fine as it always does. Um, we are currently on version 12.5.1.3 which is currently the newest build out. Uh, and we are on a hardware 4 model Y2024. We are currently in assertive mode and we are currently stopping at this red light perfectly fine behind this vehicle. Uh, we just got news about an hour or two ago that uh, it is in the works to get 12.5 over to hardware three vehicles. Uh, it is currently being tested and optimized with the uh, kernels as the current compiler, I guess, uh, didn't have um, the same code for hardware three. So they have to emulate it or something. Um, I'll leave a, a post right here for you guys to check out and I'll link it down below. But it does seem like it's actively being worked on and it should be coming out very soon. We also got news that Cybertruck is getting FSD in September. So not a guarantee, not a promise. I think these are more of estimations, but it's really good to have these progress updates from Tesla. Uh, it's really good to see that they're working on it and they're making headway. So we are gonna get the same parameter count on hardware three vehicles, which we weren't sure that was gonna be a thing we're not. Uh, Elon did talk about it, but it looks like that is being confirmed that we are gonna be getting that uh, parameter count boost and version 12.5 on hardware three, which will be great for a lot of you because I know a lot of you are on hardware three vehicles or planning to maybe buy a hardware three vehicle and you weren't too sure if that was the right move if you're gonna get the newest FSD builds. So it looks like, yes, you are gonna get the newest FSD builds. They might just be a little delayed or maybe there's just this delay to get everything uh, ready to go for hardware three vehicles with the new parameter count. And uh, updates will come to model three or hardware threes just like hardware four vehicles once they roll out the initial update. So very good stuff to see, very exciting news for people with hardware three vehicles and Tesla fans alike, as this will be a massive update for many of you and it will be a massive, um, a massive thing for Tesla to also grow with and it allows for a lot more flexibility and growth within the uh, Tesla vehicles. So it's also good news for hardware four vehicles because when hardware five comes out, they won't just stop integrating and developing for hardware uh, four vehicles. So it shows that Tesla is committed to making this journey possible for all vehicles with FSD and um, really wants to get that update out there for everybody and not just the newest technology even though it might be a little bit delayed, but I am perfectly fine with that. I think this is very reasonable timing. The amount of efforts that I'm sure they're putting in over there are insane. So thank you, Tesla team. Um, I can't wait to see this running on hardware three vehicles and prove to everybody that it will be coming. I know that there's people talking about lawsuits or something, and I'm just like, it's a tech company. We need to give them a break. They're doing amazing things over there things that no other tech company can do and we're complaining about a little delay or something. So, okay, so, okay, we don't have to turn up there where the construction is, so we're just gonna turn in right here. No oncoming traffic or anything. That would have been interesting to go through those. Um, I think we're gonna have some of those fake roundabouts on this route, but yeah, really excited for, for what's coming with uh, hardware three vehicles and FSD in general. And hopefully we'll see a major update to FSD on this vehicle as well in the near future. I know we missed our update last Friday, but uh, maybe they're just saving up for a nice big update, big rollout to more vehicles and whatnot. So still very excited to see what's to come. I've got a guy backing up here and he's waiting, the car's waiting. The car did kind of realize or control for him or think about controlling for him. So here we are approaching this roundabout with stop signs, which is always interesting. Roundabouts should not have stop signs. And people use their blinkers on these things, it's weird. But I think we should go in right now and the car's doing that. We're gonna go right around this roundabout here. Perfectly fine, 
no hesitation, no issues whatsoever. So I don't know if I call that thing a roundabout because I believe what you're supposed to do in a normal roundabout is signal when you're leaving the roundabout. But everybody around here signals at the stop sign and then they go the way you would normally go for a stop sign. So if someone's got their left blinker on, they're turning left. If they got their right blinker on, they're going to turn right. If you don't have a blinker, you're going straight. So I don't know if that's how it normally is. I don't really deal with these every day, um, but it's an interesting test for F15 nonetheless. So I like to test it. There's no vehicles coming, so we should really just, yep, perfectly fine. It's a little slower than probably a human, but that's because it's doing that full stop and that's not in Tesla's control anymore. Uh, they're requiring it, um, NHTSA is requiring it that Tesla does a complete stop. Um, if they're right, we're wrong. It doesn't really matter. It's the law. So now we do have an unprotected left coming up and we are going to be stopped here. Then we should get some traffic on the other side and then FSD is going to have to figure out what to do. Uh, which can be difficult sometimes because it might be hard to see if there's, there's a vehicle behind someone turning or if that person's going to go straight or if that person's got their blinker on. Currently, that truck looks like they're going to be going straight, so FSD will have to control for them at least. There's another vehicle approaching them, and they also look to be going straight. So what I would do is as soon as this turns green, I would move up a little bit get ready to turn and then wait for those guys. Okay, that guy just turned his blinker on. So really, we just got to wait for one vehicle right now and then we can turn, um, which will be interesting to see what FSD does. So the light just turned yellow, so we're going to get to red very soon. It's red, green. Now we pull up here. That vehicle goes straight and then we should start like doing our turn. Oh, nice. Perfect. Perfect. Look at you, FSD. Nice. Okay. So sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't, but that treated it perfectly fine. I really like that. That's super human behavior. Uh, human that's actually paying attention and, and looking at the road and stuff. So, all right. I don't know where we're going. We're doing this weird thing again. So I am uh, not going to go that way. And I am going to call it here, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below what you want to see or what you want improved. Um, like, comment, subscribe, you know, do that thing. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a good one.